What's up, duelists? It's Nerp here, and it's Wednesday, and that means it's Gauntlet Day. So, um, oh, I can actually grab a spirit orb here. Um, I do have 150 gold ready to go right now to um, buy a Gauntlet run. Uh, what's this? So, not really anything I'm going to use in my decks. Maybe I can add another Cryogenesis or Elucidator. I'm not sure how many I have. But, we're playing Gauntlet right now. The drafting format in Duelist, available on Wednesdays and Saturdays, using 150 gold to enter, and options are Vitruvian, Vanner, and Songhai. I wish the Magmar Lion I was going to be here, uh, but I'll have to choose one of these. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Vitruvian. I'm probably most comfortable with this faction than these. So... Mana Forger, Prismatic Illusionist, or Crimson Oculus. Whenever your opponent summons a minion, this minion gains plus one, plus one. Um, it seems like Crimson Oculus or Prismatic Illusionist. I'll take Crimson Oculus. It can just become a pretty decent unit. Tropic Decay, Pyromancer, Cosmic Flesh. Pyromancer. Uh... This is tough. Solar Tracer is good, but not when I don't have any like artifacts in my general. So I'm gonna take the Saber Spine Tiger here. Siphon Energy, I'll take here. It's just good to spell. Entropic Decay or Ethereal Obel Obelisk. Obelisk. I want my two drops. Tropic Decay, Fire Spitter, Astral Phasing. And Tropic Decay. Now you get some removal. Another Siphon Energy, Repulsor Beast, or Putrid Dread Player. Another Siphon Energy, I want my Dispel. Alright, so I have a bit of removal, a bit of Dispel. I'm tempted to take a third Siphon, siphon Energy here. Um, or I could take a Primus Fist. I'll take a Primus Fist. That helps. Starfire Scarab, Pyromancer, Sunseer. Starfire Scarab. Now I have one of those solid 5 drops. Uh, Fireblaze Obelisk, Prismatic Illusionist, or Imperial Mechanist. Fireblaze Obelisk is going to be my choice. Rock Pulverizer is going to be my choice. I don't think that giant thing is going to help much. Um, now, is this where I take a big unit? Do I take Serpentine? Sunseer is a 3 drop, and it's okay. Um, I'll take Sunseer. Science Second Wish, Science First Wish, or Tropic Decay. Thinking Science First Wish is going to be the choice. I really like its cantrip. Sand Trap. It's like a Binding Root, Astral Phasing, Void Hunter. I think I just want the unit. This is a 4 2, it's solid. Sand Burrower, Serpentier, Bright Moss Golem. I'll go Bright Moss Golem, solid 5 drop. And the Science Second Wish, Cosmic Flesh. Cosmos, cosmic Flesh isn't too bad. Or do I want another 2 drop? I have 1, 2, 3. I'm gonna get another 2 drop. Skyrock Golem is just a fine 2 drop, I think. Frostbone Naga uh, can deal damage for me. Another Scar Starfire Scarab over Orb Weaver and Bonestormer. Although these are nice cards, Starfire Scarab I think is really crucial. Another Primus Fist, or do I want a Whistling Blade? I think another Primus Fist because I have a lot of things that can benefit from attack being raised, like my Blast Guys, um, you know. San Howler, Imperial Mechanist, or Inner, Inner Oasis. None of these seem like they're that good for me in this deck. And I guess I'll take Inner Oasis because it's a cantrip. Uh, another Starfire Scarab I'm going to take. So now I have three Starfire Scarabs, so I won't be short of those. Um, Blind Scorch could save me in a jiffy. And now I got some legendaries to choose from. Signs Third Wish. Archon Spellbinder, Dark Knight, that's Science, the Wish. So now I'm going to be able to increase my attack by a ton. Uh, Staff of Yakur or Storm Middle Golem? Staff of Yakur. 
solid uh, artifact there. Dunecaster or Veil Hunter? I don't have that many dervishes. I'm gonna have Fire Blaze and Ethereal. I'll take the Dunecaster though. I already have so much blast, I don't really need ranged. Entropic Decay or. I'll take Entropic Decay. So I have new, uh, two Entropic Decays. Another Staff of the Occur? Yeah, sure. I guess that's fine. And another Starfire Scare. I'm just gonna keep taking that Starfire Scare. And I have four of those. Another Ethereal Obelisk. I have nothing over five cost. Which, is that a problem? Maybe. Golem Metallurgist. Do I have any other Golems? I have Skyrock Golem and a Bright Moss Golem. So maybe that's going to be good, but then the three drop isn't too bad. Canada Mechazor. Um, I think I'd rather take the two drop. Okay, so I have nothing over five cost. Um, this is going to be an interesting deck to play. I'm aiming for at least seven wins. That's my goal, because I want to get a Gauntlet ticket so I can play again for free. Uh, my history of Gauntlet, I have an 8 win Gauntlet, a 7 win Gauntlet, a 6 win Gauntlet, a 5 win Gauntlet, and a 3 win Gauntlet. So, actually, and a 0 win Gauntlet. So, uh, I did well on two of them, okay on two of them, and bad on two of them. So, I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, even though I'm not very good, uh, it's still worth it for me to play Gauntlet, and probably for you as well because you're guaranteed to get a spirit orb when you finish um, and then depending on how many wins you get you'll get some spirit and or cards so it usually pays off it actually almost always pays off unless you get zero wins so I'd, if once it's one days and saturdays i definitely suggest you queue up for gauntlet save about 150 gold for every wednesday and saturday so we'll play against Sire Scott, and he's playing with Lionar. I'm going to go second. And I'll get rid of Entropic Decay and Starfire Scarab, seeing I can't play those on the first turn. I can play Void Hunter turn one, or, or I can play Ethereal Obelisk if I replace this Inner Oasis. Um, hopefully I can get another 2-drop, and then I can play Ethereal Obelisk with another 2-drop. And we'll see if uh, my opponent is able to connect here. It would be nice if I can get a free win on his disconnect. Um, yeah, I'll take wins any way I can get them. The rewards in Gauntlet are really, um, really nice. So, getting a one win start, uh, is not something I would complain about. Oh, but he's here. So we'll have to earn our win. And, so I'll probably replace Inner Oasis. He's rank 3, so it should be a tough challenge. He knows what he's doing. Wish him luck. There's a rock pulverizer, so already going with the dispel. And I do get another shoe drop, which means I am actually gonna I mean Void Hunter is not bad here because it does destroy it's able to destroy and survive the rock pulverizer. But I really would like Yeah, I would really like to just get multiple things down on the first turn. But yeah, I'm already going signature Vitruvian, blast and dervishes on turn one. Uh, he's set to be able to already deal 3 damage to my obelisk though, uh, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, so that would mean he would only be able to play 3 drop though, not a 4 drop because that means he would have to go on top of that mana spring. So what did I top deck here? I top deck a Primus Fist and a Bright Mouse Golem. Which Chronosis is going to be very nice uh, if I can play it next to my Pyromancer because then all of a sudden it has 3 attack with Blast. Um, and I get this over here. Is that a good spot for that? Well actually I can play Promises next next to that. Um, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get to this mana. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, can I? You know I can't. Or if I can, I can't play it with the Promise Fist because I have to use the Promise Fist. So I'm going to replace this, hopefully get a 2-drop. I get a Frostbone Naga, which I think I'm going to play the Promise Fist this turn. This turn, I can't speak. 
uh, because I want to take down the Suntime Maiden as fast as possible. So Primus Fist comes down. Uh, I guess right here is fine. And that is going to allow me to take out the Suntime Maiden with, without taking any damage, really. And... I'll put two damage on a general. It doesn't seem like this is going to be one of those Petruvian matches where I sit on my back foot the entire game with, standing in the corner with Blast because I don't have a, a Wildfire Ank to give my general Blast in this deck. I have a Sapphire staff that occur, so I can increase his attack, but that's good for melee. Oh man, he has Tempest. So that is really nice for him there because it actually uh, clears my board and he gets to keep something on the board. So very good draw for him there. But Frostbone Naga is a pretty good draw for me here. Unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of the process here. Unfortunately, it's not going to be able to take out the artifact. It's close though. Um, no. I wish Eager just clumped up a little bit more. Just a little bit, but I'm gonna play the Frostbone Naga. I could play it over here. And then I can run away, I guess. Uh, my general's gonna take two damage, so that's a problem. I will put it down. Right here. So my general takes two damage, and I'm going to. This is a tough choice. I'm gonna get rid of his artifact because you never know if that thing's gonna be uh, protected with a Arclight Regalia or or actually he'll be able to take out the Frostbone Naga and one hit then now he can't. Uh, but now my general is down to 12 health and he's down to 14 health this is pretty fast. Um, and I wish I was able to get out of here and now he gets a Iron Cliff Guardian. Not so good so far. Yeah, not very good at all. Um, and I have no way of getting out of this, really. I need to find a spell, I guess. Uh, let's get rid of the Crimson Oculus. That was what I needed to draw, though. That's the perfect draw. I'm able to get rid of that. And I guess I'll provoke you as well. Uh, I could actually... How much damage can I deal to you? Five damage. Oh, we left there. And... I'm not sure if I should attack with my general or not. No, I'm not going to attack with my general. I know I can kind of finish him off with a blast. I'm afraid. Lionar has ways to deal damage. And you can heal up kind of fast. So... Now I can get my Blast guys out, but they're kind of slow. I have to devote almost a whole turn to play them. Um, he is provoked. I have all minions in my hand. It would be nice to have some kind of spell. I will be Sage and a Light Chaser. Yeah, so that does heal him up a little bit. Okay. Uh... Now, you know what, that deal two damage to a row would be a good card to draw here. I will get rid of the Bright Moss Golem. Science First Wish. I can deal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage using my general as well. Uh, because I'm also counting that. Hmm. I think I should get rid of the I'll be Sage because I can't win the game this turn, right? Four damage, five damage, six damage, seven damage, eight damage, nine damage. I can get you down to two, which is not low enough. So I will play this. 
and then I'll play this. So I'll take you out, I will hide, and I will... I'm actually going to deal two damage to his general before my thing dies so I can Tempest. But I feel relatively safe with, safe with my general now. And I have a five attack Starfire Scarab. So he's, yeah, it looks like he's going to trade with my Primus Fist. Now I have a Staff of the Occur, so if my general uh, can somehow get towards the battle, um, I might be able to sneak in a win next turn. I also have a... Aw, oh, man. Well, that loses its blast and its one one buff. But if he's going to run away, I do have another one to play this coming turn. The only thing is, he's already shown he has a little bit of healing, and I have no healing. Sworn Defender. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'll get rid of the... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this Gap Beaker. I don't think I'm getting towards the battlefield. Scion's Third Wish. Okay, three men... Give three men friendly minions plus three attack. I think I'm gonna use this this turn because I can get you to seven attack. So if I do that, and then I have five mana left, which means I can play this and get you to be huge, or I can play both of these. And I think I'll play both of these just so I can use this effectively. Okay, yeah. This is not till the end of turn. This is like until they die. So these guys are gonna be threats. He's gonna have to find a Tempest. If he has another one in his deck. A Tempest for him here would be quite good. And I'm just gonna go to the corner. Seeing as I'm another blast guy. And another blast guy. And a fire fireblaze opalisk. So let's see if he has a Tempest or a um or a whatever it's called where you deal four damage in a frenzy like radius and heal your guy back a little bit oh he does have a tempest so that hurts quite a bit and now i can play five up yeah so that was that was a risk i took hoping he didn't have another tempest but he did and now he's gonna play two drop as well that's it okay at least he didn't like have that much to play um, I'm going to get rid of the. Hmm. That's tough. What do I get rid of? Maybe Starfire Scarab. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Starfire Scarab. Well, it doesn't really help too much. Um. I think I'll play this. Well, you, you're going to be able to reach me no matter what. You're going to be able to reach the Scarab. So... Actually, let's play... Let's play the Scarab there, give it a plus one because I have nothing else to do that turn. And now I'll play the Fireblaze Obelisk. And I can deal four damage to the Fireblaze Obelisk, ugh. Well, what else do I have to do? I have a Sun Bloom to make this back to a 2-3. Or a Blind Scorch. So at least this has enough attack to be able to destroy the Crimson Oculus. If he goes to attack it. Really close game. I thought I was ahead and I was going to win because of that, uh, because of that science third wish, but then, bam, Tempest. Silver Guard Knight, um, I have another Silver Guard Knight. I have a Siphon Energy to deal with one of those, and he's filling up the board. Oh, he actually walled me in so I can't play anything. Alright, so the Fireblaze Obelisk doesn't summon anything, which is really 
really good for him. Um, here, I think I'm gonna. Oh, if I get rid of the inner oasis, I might not get anything. Maybe I should keep the inner oasis. Now let's get rid of it. Saber Spine Tiger. Can I win? So. I don't think I can. If I. Destroy you. Things I have to get. Down. Yeah, I don't think I can win. So let's start attacking things. So I'm able to take all that stuff out. And now I will play this, dispel that, destroy that, play this, and I guess I'll stop that as well. He can. Oh crap. He can uh, deal four damage to me. No, he can't because these guys are standing here. So, not quite. He can deal two damage to me. Normally. And I get a Sunseer and a Golem Metallurgist. I need game changing spells about here, not really minions. I guess Sunseer can heal me up, but. It's not really instantaneous. I need that instant gratification at this point in the game, you know? So I guess I could have played the, like, plus three health pl uh, card last turn. Should have done that. What is he going to do? Is he going to... Alright, if he's going to spend a lot of minions to destroy that, then... I don't really mind. Uh, and if... Now if... Alright, he has another provoke thing. And it, okay, he had a Dancing Blades. Okay, so I'm gonna get two Dervishes here. And where do they spawn? There and there. Let's get rid of the Golem. Alright, Inner Oasis is definitely going to be what I'm gonna play right now. Uh, I can win if I get an attack buff. No attack buff. In that case, I have to destroy. Uh, this is just so bad. I'm like trapped here. <laughs> I'm really trapped. Um, I'm going to. You're provoked. Oh god, this sucks. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna lose now. Yeah. I needed to draw something that would help, but I didn't draw anything that was gonna help me. I should have played the Suns here first, but then. Eh, guess it doesn't really matter. I could play both of these. I promise you're provoked, so I can't destroy that. Well, I'm gonna have to destroy this. And now I have to desperately hope. Desperately. That he doesn't have. Uh any way of dealing two more damage to me. I'm just about dead. All the provoke every turn really just got me. So it looks like we're going to start off with a loss here. He only has three cards, so it's not definite that we're going to lose this turn. But he just needs two damage. A Tempest would win it for him. Any way of buffing a minion by two attack. Any way of dealing two damage to my general. He can't... He... Wasn't able to move towards me with his general at least, so. Might be able to save. It looks like, okay. Oh, he needs one more attack. Does he not have that extra attack? He only has one mana left. I don't think it's even possible for him to get anything. That means I could win next turn. I might be able to win next turn. I think I need a lucky spawn. I think I need a one half chance of this Fireblade Obelisk to spawn right there so I can move down and hit the general. 
Let's get a lucky spawn on the Fireblaze Obelisk. What is that, 50% chance? Okay, well that's gonna save him. Um, I can use both these to attack him though. Uh, let's see what I can draw. Let's get rid of the Safia Kerr. That is... Oh, it's gonna be so close to game, but I have to... Wait, three plus three plus two is only eight, so it's not, it's not that close to game. But now, now I'm like, I can survive a little bit, I think. So, I want to deal damage with this Sunseer because I want to get healed up a little bit. Uh, I want to run away with my general as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and deal damage. Okay, at least I got healed by two. Tempest still kills me. And now I'm gonna... Finish you off. Move down and play a Bright Moss Golem right in your face. And I'm gonna run away with my, uh, general. So, let's see if, uh... Let's see if he has a Tempest. I mean, he already played two. It would mean he has a third. Tempest would would win the game for him. Um, oh, as would a just a uh, tiger, right? You see, it could play the tiger right there and move to the left. So hopefully he doesn't have a saber spine tiger or any kind of rush thing. Yeah, rush would destroy him because he could play it there and then move two to the left. He's down to three health. Ah, oh, but there's that emerald rejuvenator. Yep, he has. He's able to heal up. I'm not. That's the key difference. Oh, but there's those two spawning, but I can't... Oh, my, I keep getting burned because my general's out of the battlefield. Wait, why is my general dispelled? Well, my general's out of the battlefield, so if it was closer, I can get next to one of these and destroy it with Entropic Decay. Or use my staff to be a cur. Oh, that's a problem. Darn it. I guess I'm going to replace this, and I get a Siphon Energy, which doesn't do a thing. Darn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm so afraid to get into the action with my general, but then it's just like doesn't help. So I can deal what? If I deal four damage to you, and then I can deal. I think I just want to deal a bunch of damage here. All right, screw it, I'm running away. I wanna make sure I don't die to most things. I'm gonna move to the corner. I'm gonna put four damage there. And I'm actually gonna put all this damage on his general and play the Void Hunter. Okay, another turn of Waiting, and now I have a blast. But again, it's not like it has. It's not like it has rush. But with the way this game is going, it seems like neither of us can find a way to, to win. Huh, how did I end up having more health on my general than him? Well, actually, if he plays Tempest, it would be a tie. So I wouldn't really mind that. I think that counts as a win for both of us. So. And I get a, I draw a card because my guy dies there, and he plays another Bright Moss Golem. Okay, so he's gonna wall up so my dervishes can't get to him. Um, good move there. And a healing mystic as well. Ah, he's able to. He's doing so much healing compared to me. Uh, I'll get rid of the staff of Yakur. Dune caster. All right, this might help. This may help. I just have to get toward, get in there. How can I get in there? Um, hopefully I'm not missing lethal, guys. 
I can just destroy this ethereal obelisk. Try nearby your general. My general's not nearby. It's. <laughs> Uh, I can get plus two two, so I can get to five attack and get you five attack. You destroy that. You oh, I can win. I can win. I think. So I'll play this. Make you stronger. You destroy that. Then you move up and destroy this. And now I win. Wow, well played, sir. What a game. Whoops, good luck, have fun. I meant to say well played. Oh, man. That was grueling. And that was a 30 minute video to start this gauntlet run. Um, wow. Yeah, I can't really have a full gauntlet run in a video. Uh, that's just too much. So, yeah. Uh, that'll be it. Like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more content. That was an awesome game. I might actually do some streaming. I haven't streamed in a while. So I might do streaming to finish this gauntlet run. And I'll see you guys next time.